What is going on guys? It's Sean O'Connell, the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, and I am deep into my Season 1 uh, watch, I was going to say rewatch, uh, reaction video to Westworld. I'm trying to catch up through Seasons 1 and 2 so that we can watch Season 3 together. Uh, our first few episodes have dropped online, and I've been really happy to see that everybody's been uh, responding really well to it, enjoying the fact that I chose Westworld as a reaction series. If you guys haven't seen, I have done um, the entirety of Game of Thrones. We did Season 1 of Mandalorian. So go to our YouTube page. You can find uh, my previous reactions to those. But a lot of people were saying along the way, like, you should do Westworld, and so I'm doing it. And part of the reason why um, I know that this was a good show to choose is that when I'm in between episodes, I can't wait to get back and dive dive into the next episode. I really am intrigued to find out where the story is going, and the show is doing a really good job of sort of dropping key pieces of information about uh, significant characters, yet also, you know, telling a larger arc story. And I'm, I'm most intrigued by what's going on with Ford and Bernard, especially Ford's new narrative that he's trying to write. I guess we're going to find out what goes on with uh, William and Logan as they start to explore different areas of the park and take Dolores with them. And I'm less interested in the philosophical debates um, that go around what the hosts remember and don't remember, but maybe the show will figure out a way to make that significant. So um, without further ado, let's get into episode number five, the halfway point of season one. And it's an episode called Contra Contrapasso? Contrapasso. I'm, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Con Contrapasso. Contra Contra episode five. Do me a favor. You're going to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Um, if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, I don't know why. I mean, you should be subscribed to our channel. We're posting really cool videos like this all the time. And especially now that we're in the middle of this Westworld reaction video series. The editors are back. I'm pointing. They're funny. They're really funny. So tune in for them. So let's get into uh, episode number five, season one of Westworld and find out what's going to happen uh, now in this crazy park. Good transition, right? I'm all in on this show. Greyhound is a racing dog. Spends its life running in circles, chasing a bit of felt, made up like a rabbit. Mm -hmm. One day we took it to the park. The dog spotted a cat. Imagine it must have looked just like that piece of felt. He killed that little cat. Mm -hmm. That dog had spent its whole life trying to catch that thing. Now it had no idea what to do. Well, that's a deep analogy, Ford. Poor Dolores needs a costume change. Find me. Show me how. Are you all right? Did I do something wrong? Just earlier, I thought I heard you talking to someone. Must have been the wind. The farther out we get from Sweetwater, the more the grandiose, the, the bigger the narratives become. But it doesn't come cheap. Rumor is they are hemorrhaging cash. We're considering buying them out. And this place was all started by a partnership. And then right before the park opened, one of the partners killed himself. Sent the park into a free fall. I mean, I don't know any of the details. I don't even know his name. Arnold, he's a word. complete mystery. Not even a picture. Who are they? The Confederados. They are the key to this game. What game? The biggest game there is. War. Theodore Flood, he was Wyatt's friend. Your former associations are exactly why we need him. It's gonna lead me straight to the big bad wolf. There's a path for everyone. Your path leads you back to me. Teddy here's not looking long for this world. Lost too much blood. Are you lost? Oh, is he like... I need some if he's gonna make it. Little Ford? Yeah. Is he Ford as a child? What do you send him for water for? I'm the one you made fill up the sow's bag this morning. Pat that brought you here. One for me. One for him. <laughs> Sorry, Lawrence. Guess I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. Can the hosts? Looks like a couple gallons of Lawrence swirling around in you. Did you good? Heal? Oh. He put blood in. Back on the road. After your misadventure, Wyatt killed it settler family made off with their daughter name of Dolores hmm way to motivate the magic word the pariah is a fascinating place are you all right lately I wondered if in every moment there aren't many paths choices is that what you want you want to change your life doesn't everybody want that yeah, I guess they do maybe that's why they come here no one in the real world will even know you said no one in the real world will know. I thought you weren't supposed to notice things like that. Why wouldn't I? You rest in a deep and dreamless slumber. 
Have you been dreaming again, Dolores? Imagining yourself breaking out of your modest little loop, taking <laughs> on a bigger role? Tell me, Dolores, do you remember the man I used to be? Used to be? See? I'm you, sorry. You were human once. I'm sure you remember him, Arnold, the person who created you. Somewhere under all those updates, he is still there. Have you been hearing voices? Has Arnold been speaking to you again? Analysis. When was your last contact with Arnold? 34 years, 42 days, seven hours ago. The day Arnold died. What was the last thing he said to you? He told me I was going to help him to destroy this place. Hmm. But you didn't, did you? You've been content in your little loop. For the most part. For the most part. If you did take on that bigger role for yourself, would you have been the hero or the villain? Ah, the ever-present choice of Westworld. Are we very old friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. I wouldn't say that at all. Oh, really? Ford, you are fascinating. He doesn't know. I didn't tell him anything. What? What? That's it. You brought something back from the dead. Oh, come on, we got another body. What? what? I am deeply confused at what's going on here. It's the repetition. It's the constant it's repetition. Really it's like you're in a loop yourself. I present to you Elasso. You're a hard man to find. Hmm. There's something you're seeking, isn't there? I know what that feels like. I'm seeking something too. If you let us, I know we can help you. Blondie here. She's gonna need a change of clothes for the occasion. Hey, I just said, costume change. She is way off script in her humble little loop. Oh. Something's gonna go bad. Oh. Well, you done botched this one, boys. <laughs> That's the spirit! We told them everyone would live. Not so much. We came through. All right, big guy. What the fuck? Oh, what? You were right. Orion's belt has three stars, not four. Our friend wasn't drawing stars. He was drawing a target. Someone has been using our host to smuggle data out of the park. Oh. You will never be a threat to anyone. My sister probably picked you for the same reason. I earned my place and nobody handed it to me. <laughs> There's so much nudity in this show. <laughs> Thinks Game of Thrones look like Peppa Pig. Well, this should be intriguing. Ooh, look at that. What does it mean? The maze. You must follow the maze. Turning bodies into bombs? Well, you have to go now. lasso has been calling us the whole time. He was never going to give the Nitro to the Confederados. We have to run. There's a voice inside of me me what I have to do and it's telling me I need you leave him no more pretending whoa all right. Her programming's different. Whoa. How did you do that? 
You said people come here to change the story of their lives. I imagined a story where I didn't have to be the damsel. Hey, nice motherfuckers. Huh. Now they were all friends. You can call me Lawrence. Hmm. I'm coming. Who are you talking to? Boys want some company? Uh, just whiskey. Thought I might join you anyway. Oh. Hey, isn't this a rare honor? Wow. You know, I always felt this place was missing a, a real villain. Hence my humble contribution. Now, Wyatt, that's something new. Have you finally made a worthy adversary? Hmm. Someone to stop me from finding the center of the maze. What is it you're hoping to find there? I think there's deeper meaning. Something the person who created it wanted to express. Well, if you're looking for the moral of the story, you quite simply ask. The man I'd be asking died 35 years ago. Are you a descendant of Arnold? this place with him. Well, maybe he left something behind. I wonder what I would find if I opened you up. Even at death's door, still a loyal pet. Is that why you came here, Robert? Try to talk me out of it? On the contrary. Far be it from me to get in the way of a voyage of self-discovery. Hmm. Did Robert interfere then because the man in black is getting really close? Did he send him down another path? Is he rewriting the game because he's getting so close to the center? Is she gonna set up? Is he gonna wake her up? She, I, she's she's up, I told you. It's time you and I had a chat. What? Oh my. Oh my. Okay, well. Halfway point of the season, and a lot of amazing stuff happened uh, in Westworld. I don't even know where to begin. I, we have to begin at the Robert Ford um, Man in Black scene, because uh, we learn that the Man in Black is aware of Arnold, um, is trying to get to the center of the maze. Ford now knows that that's what he's trying to do. Uh, a game of cat and mouse, almost. And from what I can tell, you know... The Man in Black uh, is a worthy adversary for what the park is trying to put forward uh, at this point now. But so far, I haven't seen anybody really take the upper hand on Ford. So I I'm going to give him the the benefit of the doubt when it comes to who's going to match wits and, and prevail in this sense. If only because Ford is responsible for the entire park. Um, so I, I can't wait to see their back and forth as the Man in Black continues on in his mission to get closer uh, through to the center of the maze, as he's talking about. Great that Robert shows up at that point. Um, and again, it begs the question, why? Why at that point? Um, does he fear that the Man in Black is getting too close? He seems to be much further along in his quest than he ever has been in the 30 years prior. And his knowledge of Arnold and the way that he speaks of him makes me wonder, is he some sort of a descendant relative, have some sort of emotional connection to Arnold, um, but I think the Arnold mystery will sort of play itself out as we get going. Now, there's another uh, goal uh, that we're working our way towards, and that's on the William and Dolores storyline, and that's war, um, which we have been told is on the outskirts of the park, and, and so far, Logan, who's the most familiar with it, uh, has never made it that far before, and William leaves him behind in Pariah, where I guess, you know, if you're Logan, that's a good place to die. <laughs> It's probably the most Logan place you're going to find in the park. But now um, they are riding along with Lawrence and getting closer and closer to uh, the battlefront. As we So I think that's going to be a turn in the type of action we see in the park, which was very Western heavy and is now going to become almost Civil War type focused. So we'll see where that goes. Um, Dolores, uh, along the whole uh, storyline at this point now, shifts into a complete different gear in that she's taking charge of her own destiny uh, in a way that she never has before. She is breaking free of what Robert calls her humble loop and is completely growing into her own character in a way that she probably shouldn't be able to do and continues to talk to somebody. C could she be talking to Arnold? It makes me wonder if Arnold is alive somehow because her last recorded 
conversation with him was 34 years ago, but, but the whole park is based on deception. Everybody's sort of deceiving everybody else about what's going on in Westworld. So she talks um, off screen after her conversation with Robert and says, um, he doesn't know, I didn't tell him anything. And then when she's on the train heading toward the battlefront, she basically says to whoever she's communicating with, uh, I'm on my way. So that hopefully uh, will get resolved relatively soon. I'm going to put my um, eggs in the basket of saying that it's Arnold somehow. That Arnold somehow survived, has been um, living in the park, surviving, sustaining it. And, uh, boy, it's a lot to guess on. Um, I I don't know. I don't know. There's some crazy stuff going on here. Who is that little boy? Will we ever find out the identity of who that little boy is? Because he feels to me like a little Ford, um, a representation of Ford that he might have constructed uh, for himself to put him in the park to just sort of say, like, oh, this was me when I was curious and um exploratory and i know there was a conversation with them earlier in the thing but um oh and someone someone earlier in the episode shouted out to dolores find me and she said show me how and again who so okay so we got to find out who she's communicating with i mean i i think it's i think it's arnold but i could be i could be way off the show has a way of really disorienting you um some things repeat it gets a little bit repetitive in a way and it makes me almost feel like I'm in a loop myself, um, which is cool. I, I think that that's, you know, I like the fact that they're keeping you off guard. You're not a hundred percent sure what you're watching. There's that, like it was the evening in Pariah. Uh, and then Dolores was like back in the lab and that's where she had her conversation with Ford. And then she got, sort of got put back in. So, you know, they're able to retrieve the hosts at different places. The hosts are, are living out these lives that, that you have to keep reminding yourself like, oh, you're watching a storyline play out and who, the newcomers, the places where they insert themselves kind of thing is, is really, really interesting. So I'm, I'm curious to sort of follow that through, but but we're getting all of these established now uh, that, the, that the landscape has been set. We're getting the man in black as he gets closer to the center of the maze. We're getting William and Dolores as they head out toward war. There's this bit with Maeve now that she's in the outside world and um, is going to be exploring more outside of the park. God, she's a fascinating character, too. There's so much going on in this show. And I credit uh, the showrunners for, uh, for for running it as tightly as they have because it's it's great. They establish the laws of what you can do in Westworld. Um, they expand it each time we come back for a new episode. They plot you through different narratives. Uh, they seem to show that one person is um, advancing, but then someone else will get the upper hand uh, in a way that keeps the show completely balanced and imbalanced in a way it's great it's great i really really like it a lot um i'm sure there's more to that greyhound speech that robert gave us at the beginning of the episode um it almost you know the point of it being once you uh achieve what your destiny is and maybe the greyhound is the man in black right like he'll get to the center of the maze he'll kind of look around and wonder why everybody's looking at him like what did you did what we expected you to do but but what do you do now sort of thing right you're chasing that that piece of felt, but um, I, I just love the way that Hopkins delivers most of his speeches in this. So, uh, Pariah was an interesting place to visit, a, a fascinating new corner of the park where there's carnal orgy happening, and, and you would assume that a newcomer would just land there and lose themselves completely, but William is a, a different cat, and he, he knows he's got a mission to complete, and he's going to go on it with uh, Dolores and, and sort of play that out. Um, it was interesting how Lawrence went from being having his throat slit uh, by uh, the man in black and then quickly got did he did he get quickly recycled back into the storyline so that he could show up in pariah like that there's those little narrative gaps that i wonder like oh did you just get rewritten and placed back into your thing so that was curious but um i don't know that great episode great episode in terms of the amount of information that was disseminated and the different twists that were placed on us makes me want to go right into episode number six everybody's sort of moving towards uh, goals that are stretching them in different directions and they seem to be getting closer to their uh faded destinations so so um, I can't wait to see where we're going next. Westworld so far has been really, really great. Uh, the performances have been solid and the scripting has been spot on. So uh, make sure that you're keeping up with all of these reaction videos as we drop them. In order to do that, you're going to go down and hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. And the minute that we drop the next reaction video to the next episode of Westworld, you will be the first ones to hear about it.